Okay. So this is the uh, overview of billing which we have uh, just seen in the demo environment. Uh, something extra which is uh, here is like uh, how is the billing cycle of a customer. The billing cycle is so the billing cycle is a cycle which has been agreed in the system with the customer and with the sales team and the organization is in what is the billing frequency that we will be sending an invoice to the customer. Is it upon charge? Like whenever there is a charge uh, or whenever there is a uh, invoice which has uh, triggered or any transaction type which has come in gets uh, billed to the customer or is it whenever there would be a frequency it, it could be a weekly frequency uh, weekly or a monthly frequency in which an invoice will be sent out to the customer. So billing cycle is which is a cycle and how or when the invoice will be triggered. Now basically in the back end not in the front end there are two types of cycle which the system has integrated one is an accounting cycle and one is the billing cycle. Accounting cycle hits the GL books of account and billing cycle is the one which we see on the front screen which shows how and what is the billing frequency for that customer. So this is all agreed before a setup is done. So upon agreement with the customer and the organization this billing cycle is uh, set up and then the customer master data team creates a billing cycle. <coughs> and in accounting cycle the accounting cycle is always monthly because we cannot break an accounting cycle in the books of accounts based on days or weeks. So every month whatever Whatever is a billing cycle for a particular customer that is in the books of account, it's always in a monthly. That's the accounting cycle. Uh, billing and invoicing, auto billing, the BRM tool always has an option to trigger automatic billing based on the transaction type. So it's a job set which is created and this is all done at the time of customer setup. If the customer or the it has been agreed with the organization and the customer that uh, the system, a uh, customer is okay with auto billing. So we will be triggering an auto billing, which how we do is we have to create events on the BRM tool. This is done at the backend. Uh, event billing event is created with a set number of days. A date is given so that on that particular date, the system will automatically trigger an invoice based on whatever transaction type is flown in the business. A delayed billing is suppose uh, upon request uh, the customer billing cycle is deferred from the normal usage. Normally it's a monthly invoicing system which we all have with the customer every month there is an invoice which is sent out but in case if we see that the project which was supposed to get uh, a project was planned designed for 12 months work was going on from January, February, March but in April say there was some issue or some unavoidable circumstances which stopped the work at the customer's premise. Hence the billing which was supposed to go up, go in April should not go because there was no work performed. In that case a deferred billing or a delayed billing is event is created which will stop the schedule invoicing which was supposed to happen. Multiple billing is in case if the customer has got uh, multiple uh, job sets like uh, we have seen uh, the bill plan type. If in case they are having multiple billing sections, one is labor, one is expenses, one is product, one is other services. So in those way we create multiple job sets or bill plans and then an invoice of a customer will have the different breakdowns of the overview. Uh, Credit memo is a negative invoice which is normally used for passing a correcting entry for an invoice which has already been generated. 
it is a credit memo normally is in full or in partial if in case the customer is disputing the, the entire invoice so the credit memo will be raised for the entire invoice amount if it's only a part of the in amount which they are disputing so it will be a partial credit memo uh, credit memo rebill is a, after the correction is done how an amendment of that is sent like suppose an invoice was initially raised for 100 uh, 100 rupee and then the customer said no uh, the name on the invoice is wrong so what we do is we'll pass a credit memo we'll first issue a credit memo for the same amount because there is no change in amount only thing is we need to amend the name now once the credit memo is passed before we create the fresh bill we'll make the changes on the name and then send it out so these are known as credit memo rebills <coughs> 